Hi there, welcome to this lesson. I'm Janet. With illustrations from David Muller's Inheritance, write an essay showing how new slavery manifests itself in African countries. On the introduction part, despite being independent, Africans still find themselves oppressed and enslaved in various ways. Citizens of Katula find themselves under the yoke of oppression from their leaders, despite the country having acquired self-rule. We jump to the illustrations or the body of the essay. To begin with, the leaders are living luxuriously while the citizens or the common people live in a poor state. Citizens cannot even get access to basic commodities like water, as the rivers have been diverted by the leaders for their irrigation projects. There is also joblessness which leads to suffering of people. Kutula is also characterized by indiscriminate killing of these of these who fall out with the government of those people who fall out with the government. Judan narrowing escapes death after refusing to heed to Lacuna's call to his brother Benko. He is finally killed in the mines through an organized murder by Lacuna's men. In addition, leaders in Kutula are amazing amassing wealth as the, at the expense of the citizen. Tamina's land has been cheaply bought by Chipande. Lakuna himself uses money borrowed in the name of the country to buy himself an aeroplane and banks the rest. Re the rest of the money abroad in his personal accounts. Moreover, those who speak against the leadership are imprisoned. Bengo spends a long time in prison because he is Lacuna's political enemy. Lacuna terms Bengo as a thorn in his political side. When he went to prison, we are told, Lulu was a little girl. He comes out to find her a grown-up girl ready to sit for her fourth form examination. The leaders are also morally debased. Lacuna wants to marry Lulu by force despite being older than her father. This act also portrays disrespect for his wife. Lulu makes it clear that he cannot marry Lacuna despite his wealth and in conclusion, it is evident from the discussion above that poor leadership is prevalent in African countries. It is not a wonder that African um, countries lay behind in development due to poor leadership. Thank you so, so much for listening to this essay and I hope this helps you to improve on your literature part. Kindly remember to like, to share and to subscribe. See you in the next one.